Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Sports live watch along uh, of what is a massive game tonight in the Women's World Cup playoffs between Switzerland and Wales. Now, as I can just tell, I haven't updated the scores from my last stream. Oh dear, let me just change all that. But anyway, welcome. I'll just change that in a minute. You're probably thinking it's Switzerland 2, Wales 1. Uh, no, it is 0-0. No, no. The game hasn't even started yet, so let me just sort all that out. This is quite embarrassing. There we go. And then... So, yeah, I'll be... Uh, let me just sort this out. <laughs> It's been one of those days, folks. It's always hard to do a watch along straight after work because you're trying to make sure you're ready for things like this. So, anyway, the teams on are on the pitch and just doing the national anthems at the moment. Wales have just sang their song, and then Switzerland, who are hosting this game in Zurich, will be doing theirs in just a moment. Right, there we go. So the score lines are now up to date. There we go. So, uh, so, anyway, if you're wondering what the starting lineups are, they are below me on the, on the screen. So do check them out. And just uh, go sort the clock as well. And let me just let my cat out. Not a great start to the stream, hang on. Right, let's get this going. So, we're just waiting for the game to start, really. Do get in touch on the live chat page, folks. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, Jamie Burgoyne says, Blessed to see a Welsh football commentary without Robbie Savage banging on about his son playing for Man United. Uh, Charlie Savage, the man, the myth, the legend. The man who got a few minutes in a Europa, in a, no, in a Champions League game last, last season. We'll probably never see him again. Uh, but anyway, just going through the lineup. So for Switzerland, uh, Backman's in midfield along with Rolti and Rutila, as we all know. And then in, in goal, it's Falman with Moritz in defence. So just naming some of the big names there. No Lehman uh, for this one. So it's a bit annoying that. I've just seen her, she's not in the lineup. And, and we've been using her for our thumbnail today, so that uh, didn't work out. But for Wales, this is more important. There is Fishlock, who of course plays in the US normally. Then we got Sophie Ingle, known for playing for Chelsea. O'Sullivan in goal, Rowe, Evans, Ladd, and Roberts all in defence, four of them in defence. Ingle in behind the midfield of Holland, Fishlock, James and Jones. And then we got Green up front. And Natasha Harding, Wales' top goal scorer, not in the squad. Uh, and the referee is from Sweden. Her name is Tess Olifson. So it's all a bit complicated, this folks, because even if Wales win this game, that doesn't mean they've qualified. If they win by two goals, so let's say this ended at 2-0 for Wales to win, um, away from home, which is probably unlikely, but who knows? We'll see. They could automatically qualify tonight. It depends on how the other playoffs go. So it's all down to rankings. But if not that, and they do win, I think they can also be in the Inter-Confederation playoff, which would mean them playing against a team from an other continent um, that's got to that level. So it's all complicated. It's not like any, it's not like any normal playoff where, you know, it's pretty simple. As long as you win, you go to the finals. No, not this time. But of course, there is Scotland versus Republic of Ireland playing tonight at eight o'clock, um, straight after this. So quite a big night for home nations football in the women's side. Um, but anyway, if you haven't as well, do vote on our poll. And at the moment, we've asked for you who will qualify for the World Cup, and 60% of you have gone for Wales. Switzerland at 40%. So we're just getting ready for the kickoff, pretty much. Uh, I think the crowd noise is on. Yes, it is. So come on, Wales. I'm from England, but I'd love to see a home nation team get to the World Cup. Wales have never been to the Women's World Cup before. Who knows what can happen in these next 90 minutes. We're just waiting for the ref. She's just getting her goal watch ready and her actual watch ready. And here we go then. So kickoff begins. Let's 
straight away. Wales have the possession there of the team in the away colours tonight in their gold and green kit. It is a cool away shirt. I do quite like it. Um, Switzerland in their home colours, all in red. They're playing in Zurich, so it is a home game for, for Switzerland. It's actually a stadium known for uh, the Diamond League Athletics, but I think it also was one of the venues for Euro 2000. 2008, that was the men's competition. But of course, there was over 14,000 uh, that went out to watch Wales play against Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, last week, which they won in extra time, I think it was, for them to get to this part at the Cardiff City Stadium, that is. It's a bit of a deep ball in there. And they've won a throw in. And already Wales going on the attack. There's Ingle. Ah, not the best of passes. Didn't get to a teammate, but he's still got it. We've got to be careful because Switzerland are trying to go on the counter. But at the end, Ingle wins the ball back. And O'Sullivan will clear it, the goalkeeper. Who's my phone? There's my phone. But straight away, Switzerland trying to get, go for that first goal. Currently, with Switzerland in their own half. But there is other games going on in the Women's World Cup. I'll uh, try and keep you up to date on the scores. We do have the video printer on the bottom of the screen as well. So right now Portugal are playing Iceland. That is at Estadio da Mato Rio, or Real. And of course the other game is Scotland versus Republic of Ireland, but they don't kick off till 8 o'clock tonight. England play Czech Republic, but that's in a friendly at 8 o'clock tonight. They're playing that in Brighton. Going back to the venue where they beat Spain in extra time to get themselves into the semi-finals at the Women's Euros earlier this summer. But Switzerland just getting themselves a bit more possession and calming things down. I mean, I'd imagine Switzerland are the favourites, but Wales, with their eagerness, and the determination is a team not to mess around with and to pretty much underestimate. Chris and have gone back to the halfway line with it for now. It's with Switzerland at the moment with Moritz. Want to throw in that came off Jones for from Wales, literally in line with the 18 yard box. Pepper, it's a little frustrated, she wants to take the throw and she keeps approaching but then hesitates. Makes a short throw in. chance now Ingle this is Switzerland on the attack but Wales come on break the encounter go on this is good
So as I said, Wales have never been to the Women's World Cup before. Prone for Wales at the moment. Road to take it. Want a free kick here, Wales? So six and a half minutes gone. Remember, a win would really help Wales get to the next World Cup. Here comes the free kick, they were headed away. And it's come back towards the near side and it's a throw for the Wales. I think the last touch came off. Back. Road to take the throw again. Just picked it up. Loose ball, easily throw at the end. Let's see if there's any messages on the live chat page. Maybe show your support who you think is going to win. Nope, no more messages. Come on, folks, it's getting tough, don't be sure. So, at the moment, Switzerland have the possession. It's gone all, all the way back to uh, Caligaris. It looks as though Dortmund have beaten Severe in the Youth League. That's the UEFA Youth League. Under 19 beating Severe, under 19, two goals to nil. There we go, Sean Gunning saying, come on, Wales. At the moment, it's quite even. It's with Roberts at the moment for the Wales. They've got it just about 30 yards out from the Switzerland goal. And then we've all got dispossessed then. It's gone all the way back to uh, Talman. Not a full crowded stadium, but interesting to find out what the attendance will be for this game. Our good man Seb True uh, lives in Zurich, who's part of our YouTube channel. He does the watch ones with us from time to time. He lives in Zurich and, you know, we were hoping he'd be reporting it for us, but no. No, apparently works more important than, than this channel. Oh, Switzerland coming in with a ball. Across from the right into the box. Rails clear it for now. And they cleared it where the ball has gone all the way to the halfway line with Switzerland in possession on the right-hand side of that halfway line. Now with Walton. There's a few yards across to Brula. Now they've gone in, to, in line with the 18-yard box. Now gone a few yards back on the far side. And then Switzerland have played it back into their own half. 
just calming things down again before they start maybe another attack. This time they approach it to the all near side and a good run here. Roberts has to try and keep it out. Is that offside? Is that the referee seen or is it a goal kick? must remember as well, Switzerland got to the quarterfinals, I think it was, of the last Women's World Cup. So, as I say, the team is experienced and they would be expected to be favourites for this. Garris. Instead plays it short to Merritt. Now Merritt on the right hand side. Short pass across to her right. Goes a bit wider with Vutala. And Ingle intercepts on the edge of the box on the near side. Still goal is between Portugal and Iceland. Oh, there's a foul there. James penalised on the Ritz. Because of that Switzerland have a free kick. I don't think there'll be a button from our Swedish referee. Oh, that's a late one. <laughs> Probably not that much in it, but the moment you commit late to a tackle, they're going to fall down. Backman's behind it. For this free kick. Looks to swing it in from the right-hand side. Headed up in the air. Not cleared, though. Bit of head turns going on in the penalty area. Now Switzerland, they might go for a long-range strike. Oh! I thought it went in, I thought it crept in into the uh, bottom left corner, but it didn't, it stayed out. And somehow, yeah, it's just a goal kick. It must have been close, but here we go then. First shot of the day coming from the hosts. Yep, it was just wide. O'Sullivan was trying to reach out and save it, but luckily for O'Sullivan, it hit the, actually hit the post, hit the outside post. The uh, far post that was for it to just be a Wales goal kick at the end. And that goal kick's been taken and Switzerland have headed it out for throwing just inside their own half on the near side. Anyway, do get in touch on the live chat page. Let us know who you're supporting today and also let us let us know where you're watching from, for example. Or feel free to ask any questions. We love to hear from our viewers, especially to keep you company. And if you haven't, subscribe to Let's Talk Sport um, and become one of our subscribers to the channel. Trying to get to 11,000. We're just under 400 away from reaching that. It's a free kick for Switzerland. Played it out back to the goalkeeper of Tillman. Now Bula. It's 
So a quarter of an hour gone. So far, so good for Wales, I guess. Goalless, but they've not had a shot on target or even off target yet. Just the one off target from Switzerland when it hit the in outside post just a couple of minutes ago. Oh dear. Am I reading that correctly? Manchester City with a red card on our live video printer, Sergio Gomez. That's not to do with Man, Man City playing right now. I wonder if that's against Copenhagen. Yeah, Gomez sent off for the visitors. Not a good start for them the way at, uh, and, uh, at uh, Copenhagen. So they'll have to play on for the rest of the game with 10 men after 30 minutes. O'Sullivan at the moment for Wales, the goalkeeper, has got the ball in her hand. We did see a Switzerland-Wales game at the men's Euros last summer and that was when they played in the group stages it was their opening games to the Euro and it ended 1-1 actually there was a draw in that and it was uh, played in Azerbaijan in Baku which was one of the very random venues that was picked for, for the Euros when it was across the continent I still don't know if I liked that I can't remember it was I mean if you're a travelling fan quite a bit of money to keep flying to each country whenever they're playing abroad but it favoured some of the teams like England who, who, who played all our group games at home we played every game at Wembley apart from the uh, quarterfinals against Ukraine and Rome here come Wales with a long ball into the box only to be headed out of the 18 yard box it's now about 40 yards from goal Wales will kick another one in as it's lofted into the 18 yard box Headed out towards the far side. This is a good chance here for Wales. Come on. Oh, couldn't get the shot. Hey, oh, here we go. Go on. Have a shot. Oh, corner. Is it a corner? Yeah, it is. But that's good work from Jess Fishlock. As I said, quite an experience. Playing one of the best players they've got in the Wales squad. Who plays her football in the United States normally. She's won a corner. Big moment this for, for Wales. They want to win the game, but they want to get some goals in as well, just to make sure that they can get that automatic spot. But we probably won't find out until after the Scotland Republic of Ireland game is played later on tonight, which is just really odd. Anyway, here comes the corner in. It's a bit of heads galore. Go on, you got it! Yes! And it's a goal for Wales! And it's Rhiannon Roberts who has scored! Just as we reached 19 minutes, exactly the start the visitors had hoped for. Fantastic from Wales. And they draw first blood in this playoff tie. Switzerland nil, Wales won. Let's update that score. Let's watch the corner again. Great delivery, it was, I mean, Switzerland first of all did head it away, but it still kept the ball in the six yard box. And then another flick header forward to Rhiannon Roberts, and then she tapped it in to the bottom left corner of the net. And that is the first goal of the game. So, 1 0 to Wales. Switzerland have got some work to do, but Wales know that they could do again that breathing space in the scoreline. But if they can get their chances still, a few goals would be very, very nice.
just shown the goal again. What a flick header that was from uh, Kaylee Green. Big moment that was to get that pass on to Roberts to then just tap it in. What a dream start this is for Wales. Meanwhile, Switzerland have just given away a throw. -in. It's inside the Wales half, though. Of course, Lehman, she's not about tonight for Switzerland. I don't know if she's injured, but I could have done with her maybe up front. Well, the ball's all over the place at the moment. Switzerland have it in possession. Jamie Burgoyne asking me, favourite TNS player and why? Uh, I better be careful with this because we we, we're supposed to be covering one of their games in a couple of weeks. I'm you're going to tell them. Um, can it be an active player or can it be a player from the past? i tell you what, I'm going to include both. It's mm. a good question. I really like Adrian Sizzle because he's been there for quite a long time now and he's clearly committed to the club. Uh, yeah, I like Sizzle Um and his famous headband that he has to wear now after the injury he suffered a few years ago. I think that was when they were away at Lab Dubno and I think it was a televised game as well so you know, people watching on the telly had to watch someone in, in pain really from that injury and it caused the game for quite a bit. If you've just joined us, folks, where have you been? Wales are one nil up in their qualifier against Switzerland. Who's your favourite player, Burgoyne? You haven't said. Uh, you can't say Craig Draper. That's an even other one. Wales in possession. It's inside their own half. And the referee has given a Wales free kick. Uh, Switzerland looked look rattled already. They've given away quite a few easy free kicks for for the Wales. The going says probably H. I don't know who that is. You mean Paul Harrison? I don't know if anyone has seen the uh, Switzerland manager, but it's a bloke but it's, his dress code's interesting. He's trying to wear a smart jacket but with a random t-shirt symbol underneath. I don't know if it's really random. This one kicked it up again. Yeah, Paul House's background was quite interesting from when he was at Liverpool and stuff. Oh, of course retired now, I think. Paul Harrison, I, I might be wrong, but is he a coach now at Team SR? So, thrown again from Wales. 
cross in, flick header forward, no one there. And the Swiss goalkeeper's picked it up. Nearly had a, nearly put her elbow into the face of one of the Welsh players when it didn't happen though. They're just showing the replay again. Nearly did. I don't know if the odds in. Fish slot. And to lose the ball. Oh, Switzerland. Oh! oh! I thought for a moment I'd be a penalty, but she got the ball. There was a late challenge, I thought, from Switzerland. Because they nearly lost the ball in their own box. But she got the ball just before the Welsh player did. The Welsh player fell down, but I completely forgot that she won the ball. <laughs> Careful. It looks as though uh, Maccabi have scored against Juventus. 2 0 against Juve. Oh dear. That it does not look good for Juve. Of course, they're in the same group, those teams, as, as a past centre man in the men's Champions League. So, goal kick taken for Wales, but they are 1-0 up, it's a good start, especially away from home. There are some Welsh fans in that stadium tonight in Zurich, they showed a clip of them when Wales had scored, as they were filming them celebrating, but there is a group of them there, which is great to see. Oh, ball through now for Switzerland, looking for that equaliser. They're looking for a foam leap, but... Oh, Wales trying to clear it, and they've deflected off one of their own players, and it's back in their own penalty area, but they've been able to deal with it and get rid of it. Bit of a scary moment there for Wales, trying to hold on to this lead. Going to be a throw for Switzerland on the halfway line. That forward ball played into the box, brilliantly done to find Formley. But then she started to take the ball towards the goal kick line and nearly went out of play. And that's where Switzerland just needed to be a bit better with the ball there in terms of decision making. One ball forward from Switzerland comes to nothing. And straight to O'Sullivan. Yeah, AC Milan played Chelsea tonight. I'll turn my light on. A bit dark in here. So yeah, Portugal and Iceland, it's still goalless there after 30 odd minutes. Well, 
looks as though Green is being treated at the moment. She's walking off the pitch for now. It's whether or not she's got a hand in between her legs. I think if she's got a groin problem. Or maybe a hamstring. She's I'm sure she'll come back on. They've just done the usual rule where they've got to walk off the pitch for now. Free kick for Wales. Fishlock was fouled. Free kick for Wales. It's into the box. Ooh, it could have gone anywhere there. Switzerland have cleared it, but it's. Oh, now, Wales, poor pass. And now Switzerland can try and go on the counter. And there's a great tackle on the halfway line. Oh, Ingle. Oh, Wales have kicked it forward to no one. And it's gone out for Switzerland thrown on the far side. Not seen much from Switzerland. They've hit the post. That's their best effort so far. But Wales know that they can get a second goal against them. But they've had one before, but certainly shown that long balls into the box seems to be Switzerland's weakness right now. So the Inter-Confederation matches, they're supposed to take place in Australia slash New Zealand in February, so it just shows how close towards the tournament that they uh, actually uh, play these matches. They from Switzerland now, hoping to get their first goal of the game. It's with Rutler at the moment. Oh, last touch there. In the front row. Going again for Switzerland. They've won a free kick Wales in their own half. And just to let you know, the Women's World Cup draw for the finals takes place next Saturday. Um, I can't remember what time it's in terms of the UK time, it's in the morning, so 8 a.m. I think, and we will be doing a, a live watch along for that. So we'll be recording, pretty much filming our reactions to the draw and seeing who gets who and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, do join us for that. If, if you do subscribe to the channel, you'll be told when it will be on, stuff like that. And yeah, we'll um, we'll be doing a watch along for that. And on the same day, we'll be doing. Our very first Welsh Premier League live commentary. Um, we don't know which game yet. It's most likely going to be Flint Town United versus Airbus UK Broughton at 5.15 UK time. So a bit of Welsh news for you. That's quite a, a good plug in during this Wales match. And here come Wales with Holland. Does she want a corner yet? Last touch. Looked as though it came off from uh, Bula there. So it'll be a be a corner kick here for Wales on the far side. Ten minutes left of this first half. They'd be in Dreamland if they could get a second goal before half time, that's for sure. Fish rock just walking towards the uh, corner flag.
So, Wales with this corner, what can they get from it? They're going straight directly into the box again. It's just gone wide. I think it was a header from Fishlock. I'm just showing the replay again. No, it was England. She was in a crowd of players. She was the one that got to it, though. But it went wide for a goal kick to Switzerland. But Switzerland are going to need a bit of a wake-up ball here. And, and driven yep, sorry, my mic just went off there. There we go. Balls across here for Switzerland. Headed across the face of goal, but cleared away. Switzerland still back in possession. Oh, half time at FC Copenhagen, goalless in their home game against Man City. But they've got the advantage because Man City have had a player sent off already. And half time between uh, Maccabee Haifa versus Juventus 2 0, the Israeli club are ahead by, which is not a good scoreline for Juventus whatsoever, especially for Mr. Allegri, who is the manager. I think it was Switzerland that are trying to put a bid in for the women Euros I can, uh, for 2025, and I can see it on the advertising boards at the moment. Try and get a corner out of that Wales, but no. Five minutes to go. Wales currently ahead. I think it's a corner for Switzerland. Yep, it is. Oh, there's a header across. 
And Osilvan picks it up with the header. Well, I think Wales are trying, I mean, it's obvious when they're safe, but I think they could easily go for a second goal. So yes, just a reminder, next Saturday is the Women's World Cup draw, so we'll be live doing that. And also, be sure to join us for our first Welsh Premier League commentary. and have just uh, bid it out for a throw-in. Throw-in to be taken just in line with the 18-yard box for Wales. But they fit in one more goal before half-time. Throw-in. Again for Wales. See if there's any messages from you like in the live chat page. Fifty fifty in our live poll now after forty two of you have voted. Fifty percent each who you think is gonna win. At the moment, fifty percent of you are correct with the Wales vote as they are one the up. Looking Switzerland now on the left hand side. Low ball cross stopped by Ingle. Cleared away, now 30 yards out. 40 yards out with Switzerland. Approaching the box from the left hand side, so that's the far side. And then a right footed cross into the box. Now Walty on the right wing. Plays the ball back towards. Number six. Oh, and then there's a cross in and a shot. Oh, right into the roof of the net. What a finish. That is from Backman. And Switzerland have got an equaliser just seconds before we reach half time. And that will be a bit deflated for Wales. All that hard work to go 1 0 up, all of a sudden forgotten. Switzerland have the goal back. So Switzerland won, Wales won. Is it offside? No. no. They've just shown the replay, so I don't think there'll be a VAR check. It's a great right foot finish into the roof of the net from Backman. Just came to her and she kicked it right away. Brilliant finish. Top right corner of the net as well. O'Sullivan had no chance of saving that. Uh, I'm not sure how much added time there will be. Anyway, they're coming again, Wales. Uh, sorry, Switzerland. Attacking from the left-hand side. They couldn't change it around before half-time, could they? They got the last touch off Lado, who's the Wales defender. It's going to be a corner kick for Switzerland. comes the corner or oh, headed wide at the end of the goal kick for Wales so the last thing they would have wanted there is, is to be 
two one down going into the half time break. We haven't announced how much added time there'll be. We've gone one minute in to added time, but I'm not sure. I, I'd imagine two minutes of added time since we're over 46. Of course, we've had two goals and the celebrations normally can cause a delay. O'Sullivan with the goal kick. She smashes that ball out onto the left-hand side. That's the near side. Ingle. Has to watch her back from the halfway line. Tries to loft it out wide to the left. Oh, bad pass attempt there from Fishlock. And it's gone out for a switch and thrown in her own half. And that is half time here in Zurich. The Switzerland manager walks off a He's looked unconvinced throughout this whole game. His face looks really weird. In terms of his facial expressions, he just never looks convinced. But he should be happy because they are drawing one all against Wales after being 1-0 down. They've been able to get themselves back level for that all-important half-time team talk in the changing room. So it was Wales that got the opening goal after a couple of headers in the box from a corner. It was flicked forward to Rianne and Roberts. And then she tapped it home with her right foot. And then Richard, just before half-time, a couple of moments ago, backed them with an absolute finish with her right boot into the top corner of the net. And that is the scoreline at, at half-time. So, really, it's anyone's come the second half. Remember, Wales need to do with a win, but even if they won, that doesn't mean that they've qualified for the finals. It's all confusing. God knows how it works out, but we shall see. Uh, from the end of the game but anyway uh, we're going to take a quick short break and then we'll be back for the start of the second half so don't go anywhere folks we'll see you in a few minutes
working. Okay, we're going to move to the second half. As we do, this time it's fixed in the second half. Left to left, third to left to right. Uh, okay, we're going to have a good half time break. I don't think anything's changed in the score line. Nope, the video printer is up to date. That's the main thing. Let me just turn my big lights on. Uh, look, there we go. So, yes. Not much to report on, really. No changes from the se uh, from half time. Looks as though both teams are happy with how it's gone. Wales had a great start to the game, but only to be blown away by a great backman strike to give Switzerland that equaliser. And Wales have to do it all again if they're going to try and get anything out of this. I still don't know what happens if it's a draw at full time. Is that it? I don't know. <laughs> This is how stupid this whole thing is. I, I don't I feel like the structure and the format could be a lot better for the women's qualifying and playoffs. It should be simply as long as you win in the in the playoffs and, and you saw it. Funny seeing the Swiss. Oh, they're in trouble. Backman. Oh, saved by O'Sullivan. Tight angle on the right hand side. And Switzerland have won a corner. A bit annoying that I've just drink the whole drink before this game started again. I kind of regret doing that because my throat will go dry. Oh well. Wow. So Switzerland with the corner. Headed. Oh, poor header. It's now on the left hand side. I just had a missed call of someone there. Someone, well not a missed call, someone calling me. And they said they called the wrong number. Now the backman and Iceland have scored um, in, in Portugal. Oh, backman! Now Wales to clear it. Go on, bro. There you go. Get in touch, folks. Not hearing anything from you on the live chat page. Come on, get in, get in touch. Switzerland now leading the poll at 53%. It has changed since they scored the equaliser. It's 
it feels like this is all Switzerland all of a sudden. Wales more on the back foot. It's only been five minutes into this half. We just feel as though Switzerland have more energy and more eagerness to get that second goal. And we've just had a header gone a bit wide there, and it's a goal kick for Wales. Just need a moment to settle, I feel, Wales. Just to get themselves back in this game. Switzerland already just trying to continue as they did at the end of the first half. But as I said, Portugal are 1-0 down at home to Iceland. That's in the other playoff. So of course, let those results come into effect depending on how Wales do in this game as well. I think as long as Wales lose this game, they're pretty much out of the running. I'm not really sure. I, it really makes no sense. I, I, I don't. It's so confusing. I, I mean, I can even have a look now. So you've got it where it says. Let me find your way for a bit. Goalkeeper, so we just had to go up in the air and make the save. So, yeah, the group stage. So, so Switzerland, Portugal, Scotland, Republic of Ireland, all the teams that finished second in their groups have, have gone into the playoff. So, Portugal beat Belgium last week, and that's how they got to the second round. And they're against Iceland as we speak. Scotland beat Austria in extra time, which was a big result against Austria. Austria being one of the teams that I'd like to say are very hard to beat. Um, they don't have any goals in them, but they're hard to beat. Um, and they've got Republic of Ireland tonight. And actually, the, the scoreline has changed between Portugal and Iceland. I wonder if that's because of VAR, because it's back to all square at nil nil. It was 1 0 to Iceland. But it's gone back to goals, so um, Iceland must have had a goal disallowed in their game. So yeah, you've got Scotland that just beat Austria at the time last week in Glasgow, and they host Republic of Ireland tonight at Hampton Park. So that's on at eight o'clock straight after this. And then Switzerland, Wales, Wales beat Bosnia. But Switzerland, they, I think they. They got the most points, I think. No, they, they jointly got the most points. I wonder if their goal difference is better than the others. You don't actually see the, the goal difference. Anymore. It's really confusing. Back with the game. Wales trying to go on the attack. Oh, it's a cross in, and it's when he doesn't find any Welsh players in the box. Booted away for now. Big moment there for Wales, nearly. Yeah, Switzerland haven't played a game in the first round. They, it looks as though they got an automatic spot in the second round. Backman have been scored for the equaliser. Now a cross in, or oh, header block, big block. Oh, this is a great run from Rowe. Uh, Barnsley have scored against Doncaster Rovers. Josh Martin with a goal in the 11th minute. All the way up, the referee is going to check the VAR monitor. I'm not sure what this is for. But This is for handball. Oh no, it's a header. It looks like it could be a handball against Wales here, and it could be a free kick. Is it, I mean, it's a handball, but is it in an unnatural un position? I think if it was up to me, I'd have to give it as a penalty to Switzerland. 
Well, the referee has checked the monitor, I think. Yeah, penalty will be for Switzerland, oh dear. And there's going to be a yellow card as well. Yeah. Throw with the yellow card for Wales, who made the handball. But they still need to score at Switzerland. Still got to take this penalty and score it. It's up to O'Sullivan if she can to try and keep the ball out if the shot is on target. How's your bottle? We'll talk more about how this whole playoff uh, system works in just a moment. But let's, uh, let's just see how this goes here for Switzerland to try and take the lead for the first time. So it's Ruitela who's going to take it for Switzerland. The referee at the moment has to tell the players to stay out of the penalty area. But as you can probably tell, Ingle at least is just trying to delay the timing of the penalty just so that Boitzler has to think more about this penalty. I mean, she needs to put the ball on the spot, she hasn't even done that. Sullivan do here. Can she can she save it? It's quite small for a goal. So Voitzla versus O'Sullivan. Oh she's at the post! Oh but she scores from the rebound. Oh she hit the left post. She hit the near post. But luckily for Voitzla the ball came straight back to her and she scored the goal. Oh, hang on, the salad brain for the referee. The penalty's going to be retaken. So they're going to have to take it again, Switzerland. So it's still 1 1. What, what's happened here? How bizarre. So she's disallowed the goal because apparently it was offside when they took the second attempt from the rebound. That is weird. That is that is bizarre. Wow, I mean, either way, we can't complain. Wales are still in this. Switzerland won, Wales won somehow. I don't know. But if I had watched that, when I watched that penalty, I thought, scored from the rebound, no problem. Sadly, it's a goal. But no, that is bizarre. Crazy People 12 says, missed the penalty yet. Bizarre, absolutely bizarre. I'd love to, I don't know, that makes no sense, but. Switch the dog complaining about it either, so I don't know, maybe I'm missing something obviously, but yeah, it's not been given. Really bizarre there. Anyway, Switzerland have to go on and try and find that second goal. Even though they did for a moment, but it was disallowed. They've just got themselves a corner on the far side. Only will take it, she's running up to it, but let's go back to this whole format of these playoffs. So it says here the ranking of the playoff winners. But to rank the three playoff winners, their results in their respective groups and the second round of the playoffs are combined. So I guess the first round doesn't matter, even though that's just for them to get to the second round, I'd imagine, since we don't see the likes of Bosnia, Austria and Belgium playing again since they lost in the first round. Uh, because some groups had five teams and others had six, any group matches against teams who finish six in their group or discounted, that makes sense. Also, as not all teams will play in both playoff rounds, results in the first round or playoffs are not counted either. So, 
I'll take it just a second. Um, as a result, nine matches played by each team, eight in the group stage and one in the second round of the playoffs are counted for the purposes of determining the ranking. The two higher placed winners qualify for the Women's World Cup and the lowest placed winner will advance in, uh, to the Inter-Confederation player. Right. <laughs> okay. So I kind of need to win today. You need to win your match in the second round to just be in that top three, don't you, basically? Uh, anyway, we'll talk about the Inter-Confederation player for a minute. But there's another corner for Switzerland. But it really is all Switzerland now in this game. Short corner taken on the far side. Whipped in with the left boot. And it doesn't find anyone in the 18-yard box. It comes over to the near side. Here with Backman. Tackled by Green. And it'll be a corner kick for Switzerland again. This time on the near side. But as you can see, even Green, the striker for Wales, is having to come back and make the tackles to help her team out. So here we go, another corner, Backman again. Crossed near the far post, headed out of the penalty area. Now up to the right hand side again, another corner for Switzerland. Uh, e says, I'm going for Switzerland, and dang, that sucks. So, do you know who was offside? I think it was the. I'm not sure, I really don't know. I don't get what's just happened. I need to read about this. Uh, Diego 2020 says Switzerland 2, Wales 1. No, it's still 1 all. Despite the. Uh, despite what had happened with that penalty. Another ball in for Switzerland. Wales defending brilliantly, but they're not going to be able to score if they. Oh, O'Sullivan reaching out for the ball there. She didn't get to it, but luckily. No one behind her to tap it in, and it instead just goes out for a goal kick. Backman so dangerous at the moment for Switzerland. She's got a goal already. Nearly found an assist. Uh, Burgoyne says in the under-19s game of Man City versus FC Copenhagen, Emil Heskey's son, Jaden Heskey, was on the bench for the first time. Is he a striker as well, Burgoyne, or does he play in a different position compared to his dad? Uh, Barnsley have scored again, 2-0. I think this is in the EFL Trophy against Doncaster Rovers. Uh, Fabio Jalo has scored, so only 20 minutes into that game. And now it's Portugal 1, Iceland 1. I'm confused. It was 1-0 to Iceland, then changed back to goals, and now it's 1-all. Bizarre night of football we're seeing here in both matches as you can see. Just having a drink break for I think Wales take either a free kick in their own half or a goal kick in the, from their box but not sure. So anyway, the inter-confederation playoffs so the final three spots of the FIFA Women's World Cup will be decided through a 10-team playoff tournament. Quite brutal. The tournament will be used as a test event for New Zealand to host prior to the Women's World Cup. In the playoff draw, four teams will be seeded into groups based on the FIFA Women's World Rankings, uh, with a maximum of one seeded team per confederation. Teams from the same confederation will not be drawn into the same group. The winner of each group will qualify for the FIFA Women's World Cup. Right, okay. I'm so confused by this. 
Oh, right, okay, so you have a semi final in group A, group B, and group C. So that's. Yeah. And then you play against the team that's seeded in the final if you win the semi final. And then whoever wins those finals gets to the group. Okay, that makes sense. What are you confusing? So they start from 18th of February and it all finishes on the 23rd of February. So that's all happening in New Zealand. Probably will be on a bit early on in the morning for us, but who knows, we might try and do some watch-longs here on Let's Talk Sport. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe and give us a follow. If you enjoy your women's football, Let's Talk Sport is the place to be for your future content on women's football. We also do snooker, golf, Sorry, my mic just went off there. So we do golf, women's football, men's football, tennis, you name it. Um, so a lot of content that we're trying to do. We're trying to think of doing some content in between our watch alongs, so keep an eye out for that. One thing I can confirm is that we're not doing the MotoGP watch long this Sunday in uh, the Australian Grand Prix, because it's on at 4 a.m. on a Sunday for me, and also I'm away uh, with work this weekend, so I'll have the time to be able to do it. Unless I get up at around three, half three in the morning to get up and do the stream and then go back to bed, but I, I just feel like that would ruin, my, ruin the, the rest of my day. Going says that uh, Jaden Heskey, who's Emil Heskey's son, and says he is a striker, would be criminal otherwise. Anyway, we're nearly reaching 70 minutes. It's still 1 1. Switzerland looking the more likely team to get this second goal and probably the winning goal at this rate. Wales have been obviously quiet in this second period. Maybe we just can't deal with the energy and the pace of what Switzerland have got. And let's not forget, they're quite an experienced team. Looks like a substitution will be made by the visitors. comes the change for Wales. So Carrie Jones coming off for Fionn Morgan. So 20 minutes to go, pretty much. Barnsley 3-0 up now at Doncaster Rovers. Fabio Jalo with another goal. That's a brace for him. He's on to a hat-trick, and it's only 26 minutes gone in that game. Going saying I was looking forward to a no GP stream letdown. Yeah, like you would have got up at 4 a.m. to watch it. Come on.
so it looks like I mean, 20 minutes to go. What what Wales going to do? They've got to try and do something. Remember, a win will help them try and at least get into the into confederation playoffs, which, as we mentioned just before, takes place in February. But they're struggling just to go out their own half. Switzerland now getting another corner awarded. I've lost count of how many corners we've had. I wonder if I could get the stats here for Corn. Nope, I can see it there. Anyway, here comes another corner. Silver had to punch it away. Oh, looks like she hurt herself in the process. Might have been a clash of heads with Switzerland's number nine. Looks like she might have been she might have been hit on the shoulder by one of the players' heads. And she'll be treated for that. Looks as though Holland for Wales as well is being treated. Just watching the replay again. It doesn't look too bad for me, actually. But a big night this, of course, for Wales, trying to get to their first ever Women's World Cup. It's been a bit of a bumpy road for them in this... Uh, match they took the lead after just 19 minutes of Rhiannon and Roberts tapping put Wales ahead and they were in dreamland but then Switzerland just before half time back in with an absolute strike it was inside the box but it's the way she finished it. it was a fantastic roof of the net kind of finish and really ever since then Switzerland have been the, the better team so if you're going to put a bet on who's going to score next you, you think it would be Switzerland and as we talk about Switzerland the hosts are going to make a substitution. I think this will be their first of the game. And we're seeing that uh, Riolo Semeli, probably not, um, she's going to come on, but we don't know if she's going to replace yet. She's ready to go, but the match is back underway. O'Sullivan and Holland are okay again. Poor kick from O'Sullivan. And Switzerland have got it at the midway point in the Wales half, now on the left-hand side, swung in from the right boot. But it's Holland who gets there. I know it's actually Rose who's got there and cleared it. It's actually quite a good long ball. Here come Wales, nice pace on the left-hand side. Could do with some in the box, running in for the cross. Ah, the cross is blocked on the far side, just outside the penalty area. Switzerland intercept and have the possession again. Big moment there for Wales, a bit of pace going on there, and it could have done wonders, but it just didn't happen. And now Switzerland have it on the back line. Fifty-two percent now for Switzerland on the vote. Wales at forty-eight percent. Emily has come on and has replaced so. Let's do number 11 for Switzerland. With the uh, Switzerland goalkeeper at the moment.
throw it to Switzerland. Gone back towards the halfway line. Uh, I think we just had a bit of buffering. Sorry, folks, we actually just lost connection with OBS for a moment. It's reconnected very quickly, so apologies if there was any uh, moments during the stream then, but we should be back to normal. Tom Green again, anyway, that's the main thing. Literally been second to come back on. Into the last quarter of an hour. Next goal wins, it feels. Again, I don't know what happens when it's full time. I don't know if that's it or if they have to find a winner still in extra time. I really don't know. Because, as I said, this all comes down to the, uh, the table. As far as I'm aware, Wales need to win if they've got a chance of reaching that, at least the Inter-Confederation are, I'm really not sure. Let me just check the uh, portugal Iceland score. Still 1-1 between Portugal and Iceland, and it looks as though Iceland uh, are down to 10 players. Without a sending off one of their players in the 52nd minute. I'm not even going to dare try and pronounce their name. <laughs> the surname is incredible. Gunlogstotter, something like that. Gunlogstotter, I think, maybe. Not sure. But yes, Portugal at home against Iceland. And they've got an advantage over Iceland. They've got 10 minutes to find the main goal. On either, either side, they've got 10 minutes. It's another goal for Barnsley. 4 0 away at Doncaster Rovers. Only 34 minutes gone. It looks as though that could be an absolute goal fest for Barnsley at this rate. Of course, let's not forget England played Czech Republic tonight in a friendly in Brighton. Um, hoping to continue with their winning ways and still remain undefeated under Serena Weidner. Ever since she got the job. And of course, Scotland play Republic of Ireland at Hampton Park in the playoffs tonight at 8 o'clock, hoping to be their next door neighbours. Meanwhile, Wales have a throw and they just need to get themselves going. The possession's been all Switzerland in this second half. Come on, Wales. As I say, I'm English, but I'd like to see a home nation real quick. We saw Scotland doing it uh, three years ago. At the 2019 Women's World Cup, they actually uh, win the same group as Scotland in the finals. I remember it was the opening game between the two that England won. Forward Wales, made away by Switzerland. It's a throw in line with the 18 yard box. Mitchell Road to take it. Exactly 10 minutes to go. Good, good lofty ball. Go on. That's it, flick it forward. Now shoe. Oh! Oh, is it in? No! No, it's on the roof of the net. On the not in I thought for a moment they scored, but so, somehow the ball stayed on top of the net and not went off it. <laughs> oh what a chance. Goalkeeper was in the air trying to tip it over. Didn't reach it, but luckily for her, it didn't find the target. That was a big chance for Wales moment literally a whisk away from finding the target and potentially getting a win here i think it is a corner but it is a 
For going, ask me which three goalkeepers to Wales. Which three goalkeepers to Wales men's take to the World Cup? Arsh ask uh, saying who will win. And Diego 2020 with the Switzerland flag emojis. Which three goalkeepers to Wales take? Well, I'd imagine Hennessy, Danny Ward. Or is that just to make up the numbers at the moment? Because I'm not exactly not sure what to think of Danny Ward. <laughs> he's, he's not the best. Uh, who else is there? I don't really know many more Welsh goalkeepers. Who do you have, Gabon? I don't know why teams need to take three goalkeepers these days. Like, look at England potentially taking so many defenders. Like, really? Get one more forward or one more midfield in there instead of, instead of all these defenders. The problem is we don't actually have the depth of defenders, really. Not, not the players that you can trust. Anyway, back with this game. We're into the last few minutes. Going saying he's taken Hennessy, Tom King, and Adam Davis. That's not the Adam Davis we know here at Let's Talk Sport, is it? Or is there an actual goalkeeper out there called Adam Davis? Interesting to see how Wales do at the World Cup. I think they can get out of it in terms of the group. As long as they get out of the groups, it's a good World Cup for them, and anything else is a bonus. First World Cup since 1956. And they've earned it rightly. It's not like with the Euros when they expanded that from 16 to 24 teams that allowed small teams like Wales to have a better chance of qualifying. You know, World Cup hasn't changed its format in years. Oh, no, Crackman scored. Through for the net again. <laughs> she takes her shirt off. Luckily, she's wearing a sports bra. Um, and yet yeah, the home crowd are loving it. And maybe, just maybe, that is the winning goal and Wales are probably out of it now. Mad to think Wales moments ago nearly scored what we thought could have been the winning goal, but Wales are now 2-1 down after being 1-0 up in this game. Such a shame. But she's, she's no doubt player of the match for me, Backman. She's got a yellow card, of course, for taking her shirt off. She'll take that. Her Copeng TV says, go! So Switzerland 2, Wales 1, with five minutes to go. Wales have got a big task now, they've got to turn this round somehow. Again, I don't know what happens if it's a draw. They, they'll know, I won't. I'd imagine it still stays as a draw if it ended as a draw. Looks as though referee Kickoff hasn't been resumed yet because the referee is actually saying that he's having a VAR feed check for I think Fishlock for the Wales is having a joke to say, you know, hopefully you don't give it, give him the goal. From Sweden, that referee. Well, there's a lot of tension because people are the play. Yeah, there is a VAR check happening. Mm. 
What is going on? What are they checking this for? They've not shown us any reason as to why they're checking it. Big nerve. It's been disallowed. What? What for? <laughs> What's this for then? Is it offside? It's offside, amazingly. It is offside. It's by Tic Tac in build up to the goal. So it's 1 1 again. <laughs> what a mad game. Wow. Wales are still in this then. Fair play. I mean, they need to get a, get a grip. They haven't been great in the second half, but it is 1 1. So forget the 2 1 scoreline. Chris Howell says, sod off, lol. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you support Switzerland, I'd be saying the same thing. But that's VAR for you. I still don't understand the, 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 the first goal, well, the goal that was disallowed first of all from the penalty, but that's, that's what happened. But no, three minutes to go. Again, don't know what happens if it's a draw. Does that mean, I don't know. Bizarre game. Wales have been given two lifelines. Quite unbelievable. Really. And now Wales have a free kick. Just inside the Swiss half. Just a few yards in on the right-hand side. It's, it is offside. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's... it's it's literally by a whisker, but it is offside. Full time in Copenhagen. Man City couldn't get a win there, but they were down to 10 men throughout most of the game. So uh, only a draw they could get in Denmark in the early kickoff in the Red for Champions League. Here come Wales then with the free kick. It's into the penalty area and now up in the air towards the goalkeeper on her own. Comfortable for her to pick up. Puts it out of her hands from her right boot and it approaches the near side of Wales' is half, it goes out for a throne for Wales in the midway point of their own half. Chris Howell says, got to score Wales, come on, and he says, I love VAR. <laughs> who knows, who knows, what can Wales do now? It's with Fishlock, oh, she's still, she keeps going down, but she keeps coming back up to get the ball. It's a Swiss throwing on the near side in their own half. Throwing forward. Now the ball comes in. Oh, goalkeeper. And Sylvan dives in at the right place at the right time now. Wow, we're coming up to the 90th minute. How much other time we're going to get behind them? Sorry, fourth official, that is. <laughs> Diego2020 says, VAR, but with a thumbs down. And E, uh, e says, so close. Another substitution for Wales. Green is coming off the striker. Being replaced by Wooden in number two. So 90 minutes are up. How much added time? Eight minutes of added time. Eight minutes, folks. We've got Jack Attack saying Wales, Jack Coupe saying Wales as well. Chris Hell saying, come on ladies, for eight minutes. Is anyone going to get a winning goal? I still don't know what it means if there's a draw. I, can't, I take it it doesn't help either team. If anyone knows, do tell me. Chris Howell says, love it, eight goals can get three goals. And there's been crazier things in football, aren't there, I guess? It's 
now with Switzerland again. Midway point in the Wales half. Switzerland, as I said, have been the better team. Every time they score, it gets disallowed. It's offside. Wales have a free kick. Yep, Chris Hull's speaking exactly as I feel. No bloody idea if it's a draw, lol. I, I assume it's just... I assume it's just one point. I don't know. I really don't, I don't get it. Let me check the Portugal icing game, because that was one of them as well. So that's in the 95th minute. And it's one all. 90 plus 5, so it's not an extra time either, it's an added time. Wow. So no one can get a win at the moment in the playoffs. So really, might, I'd imagine maybe if Scotland win tonight, they're definitely going through if these two games end as a draw. I have no idea. Half time at, at Doncaster Rovers, 4 0 down. The Don I'd imagine the Doncaster fans have already gone home at half time. 4 0 down at, at home to Barnsley. So, two and a half minutes already gone in this. Eight minutes of added time. Switzerland at the moment in the deep end of the Wales half. On the far side, the cross comes in across the face of goal. Header over the bar on the near post. I think it was. One of the players that's just come off the Switzerland back. Didn't catch the name. Good cross. Header just not in the best balance there to, to get it down and onto the target. And Sullivan takes the goal kick. Then headed into the Switzerland half, then kicked back into the Wales half. Uh, Tushley says there will be extra time and penalties if uh, they draw at the end of regular time, isn't it? I, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't get it. Because I always thought it was down to, like, points or something like that at the end. Swiss manager doesn't look pleased. Corner for Switzerland. Again, headed away. Come on, Wales. Four minutes to go. Switzerland right now will be wondering what they have to do to even score a second goal. So if you've just joined us, they've had two disallowed goals. So this game could have been done and dusted by now. But they still have to look for that second goal. Let me just check the BBC feed on their live text comment if they mention anything to do with It's still one all between Portugal and Iceland. I'm just glad I didn't decide to do an other stream straight after this five of Scotland or England women's match. Because they start in like six minutes and this game ain't finishing for another three minutes. I think. Okay, so the BBC feed has just confirmed that there will be extra time. If, if they've pretty much said here, tired as the Welsh players are, they will definitely take extra time. There's two minutes left of added time, so yes, extra time. I'm, I don't get it. Like, like who, what happens if you win? 
because they're saying that even if Wales did win, it doesn't, it still doesn't mean that they've qualified. It's like, I'm really confused. Who came up with this format? It's absolute crap. <laughs> Why not go with the men's format? Like, you know, they're qualified, that makes sense. Chris asking, how are Wales playing now? Much ball now. I mean, don't get me wrong, if Wales can get to extra time, that'd be great, but then we've still got to survive another 30 minutes like this, and you know, I feel like they're asking for it. They look tired. The penalties, if this was straight to penalties, it wouldn't, you know, anyone could win it, but I fear that Switzerland would just get the goal in extra time instead. One minute left, though, of added time. Oh, that's a foul. Wales have a free kick. It was Walty with the foul, the captain for Switzerland. She took down Fishlock. Ow. It's just inside the Swiss half again. But again, you know, loft the ball, loft the ball into the box and see what happens into the last 30 seconds so this looks to be the last chance before the match goes into extra time ball kicked in and that was the goalkeeper picks it up so full time 1-1, one, one. we're going to go into extra time. As I said, good thing we didn't do another stream straight after this, because that just would not happen right now. <laughs> I'm trying to understand the, the, the goal. Like, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused tonight. The, the first Switzerland goal that was disallowed from a penalty, was, I, I don't get that, and I also don't get what happens if you win, it's so confusing. But either way, the main thing is, Wales are still in this. Um, we will find out soon. Unbelievable um, what we've been seeing here. I think it's fair to say the Welsh love VAR. <laughs> so we're getting ready for extra time in just a bit. But that we are just going to have a quick break, folks, and we'll be right back.
back. I'm just getting ready for extra time. So extra time about to happen, folks. Let's just read some of your comments. Uh, Tush, Tush Ali says, the Golden Playoff Hall, there are three playoff matches, three winners, two of them will directly qualify, and more of them will have to play in the... Right, OK, OK, that makes sense. That's why this is... So they need a win, basically. And here we go again, then. So 15 minutes per... It each half here we go again I didn't see any changes from either team there Dundee United have got a goal 11 minutes in from Behic he has put Dundee United ahead against Tibbs at 1-0 in the Scottish Premiership We can keep you up to date on the score lines from uh, Scotland. So, Wales this time attacking from right to left, switching from left to right. It was like a long time ago, didn't it, since that uh, goal for Wales on the 19th minute. I'm just going to get my laptop charged up, so I'm going to need it. I don't think I was expecting for it to go on for this long. <laughs> Here comes Switzerland with a cross deflected. So the corner comes in. Each time that they don't, cons you know, oh, come on, Wales. There's only one in the box, and there's like just 
feel like Wales are asking quite a lot for nothing really. Good chance here for Switzerland. Backman again, she's so dangerous. Oh, good save by O'Sullivan. She's going for a corner of the net there, but she's got a cramp, Backman. I know this sounds awful, but is that a good time for Wales? Yeah, she's got a cramp. Literally the moment she stopped running. But she's no doubt been Switzerland's best player. So, match pause because there's an injury from one of the Wales players. that was for. Oh, Wales 
So Lily Woodham's been booked. That's who it was. Oh, Switzerland now on the attack on the left hand side. Cross comes in straight to the hands of O'Sullivan. Iceland games, but I think that's going to touch the team as well. Anywho. Ten and a half minutes gone already. Where's that gone? Come on, Wales. Just need an opportunity here. Come on, fish lock. Be interested if this does go to penalties. Really is luck of the draw then, it's anyone's match. Oh, that was a late one. I'll tell you what, there were studs up there maybe from Sophie Ingle. Is that not a booking? Right, it is a free kick, but no booking. I think that was a yellow card. I don't know what the referee was thinking there. Wales have to clear it again. Now with Walty. Oh, was that another foul? No, referee says play on. That's a foul. Yeah, free kick for Wales there, just outside their penalty area. Rachel Rowe there was the one that got fouled. Checking the Portugal Iceland game. Portugal are ahead now in extra time, 2 1. And it's only just started, but Scotland playing Republic of Ireland. It's goalless there. Only 11 minutes in, though. So, free kick for Switzerland. Could this be the moment that they can get potentially the winning goal? A minute and a half left until we reach the halfway point of extra time. 
comes in. Oh, it's a free header. Oh, it's wide. Free header for Switzerland then. It just goes past the near post. Switzerland no as well. That's a free header. Gotta to, got to get that on target. Great opportunity wasted for the hosts. You just feel like Wales have got nine lives tonight and they've already used up three of them. <laughs> careful now can they go on the attack oh nearly pulled fishlock shirt but they play on go on Wales no no the pass wasn't there oh they nearly broke through it was on the edge of the box tried to play it through to fishlock but Switzerland dealt with it ah that's annoying that was a big moment for Wales clearly trying to play on the counter Switzerland now on the left. Cross, headed away, great defending, throwing for Switzerland. Reach 15 minutes. Is that not half time, ref? Another cross in. Oh, doesn't find anyone in the box for Switzerland. Throw in, and that should just be half time, surely. Oh no, two minutes of added time. Where have they got that from? Oh man. I've always thought about the referee as well when it when the match goes all the way. Because you've got players that you can take off. You know, they can have their rest once they go off. But for the referee, she has to be there the whole time, even if she's tired. One minute gone out of the two. away again. Spain already 1-0 up against USA in the uh, friendlies. England only played 17 minutes. Their goal is for Czech Republic at the moment. Another chance waste there for Switzerland. And that should be the last kick of the first period of extra time. Yep. So. Still 1-1. 15 minutes away from a penalty shootout. We'll be right back for the second period in just a moment. Don't go anywhere.
And we're back. We're just getting ready now for the second period of extra time. And away we go. So it's it's now or never, really. Wow, actually, I say that. Healthy shootouts, anyone could win it, but who'd be up for it more? I think Wales would be. I have no uh, knowledge behind that reasoning, but I just feel like normally the team that have been second best, I like to think normally win the penalty shootout. Um, but Switzerland, I, I think they'll be wanting to try and put this game to bed before penalty shootout. Really is an ex-goal wins scenario. At the same time, Portugal, Iceland are in extra time in their game as well. And whoever wins that will also either go through or have to play in the Inter-Confederations playoffs that take place in February. Still no goals coming from the Vidi Prince in the last 20 minutes. It's a quiet night. Oh, no, no, they're starting to come through again now. That's annoying. So Peterborough have scored, and so have Forest Green Rovers 1-1 one, one there. Torn Athletic uh, leading by two goals to one, despite Exeter getting a goal from Jay Stansfield. And, oh, the Italian Jorginho scoring against the Italian champions of AC Milan to put Chelsea 1-0 ahead after 21 minutes. What do you want at home, folks? Do you want Wales to have a pair to shoot out? Can you hold on to those nerves? And yet again, Backman having another cramp that she's having to deal with. I mean, of course, Jorginho scored a penalty. When, do, when does he not? But he did have that curse of starting to miss penalties after missing one in the Euro final against Pickford. Well, Wales have got a thrown on the halfway line on the near side. Not really sure what they're complaining about. But Wales apparently have to give the ball back to Switzerland. Oh, she's kept it in play. Well done. Come on, Wales. There's four up front. Oh, the pass again. 
Oh, frustrating. Peterborough 2 1 up against Forest Green Rovers. I think that's in the lead. It's going to be cleared away now by the Swiss goalkeeper. Headed forward, though, for Wales with Jess, Fis uh, Jess Fishlock. Marves is there. Oh, poor pass. Wales need, I think Wales want penalties. They're, they're not, uh, just can't get any connection going. They look, there's moments when they look a little dangerous in the approach, but then they just can't play the right pass. I say that, they've just won the ball back again. Now it's on the edge of the box. It's going to be a corner for Wales. Again, another lofted ball into the box. And Switzerland weren't sure what to do with it. And this is what I love about crosses and long balls into the box. No one knows how to deal with it. It's not easy. It's very unpredictable when you you bring balls in like that. And as long as it's too far for the keeper to come out for. So can, what can Wales get from this corner? Can they get the winning goal maybe with nine minutes left of extra time? There's four Wales players in the box. Headed cleared. Only half cleared. Free kick for Wales on the near side. 25 yards out. Uh, Zach Hughes vlogs asking who won. Uh, no one won yet. Still won all in extra time. So can Wales score from this free kick? The ball is crossed in. It's a dangerous one. Oh, it's over the crossbar. And I think it's going to be a goal kick, looking at the frustration from the Wales players. It's a great delivery. That's a corner. Backman's coming off. That might be a good sign for Wales ahead of the penalty shootout, maybe. Maybe this is a tactical move towards the penalty shootout. Of course, she went down twice with a cramp. So I'd imagine she just can't carry on. But she did score. She scored two goals, but one was disallowed, but she was able to get her team back in it to at least avoid defeat in normal time. Gillingham have got a goal against Colchester United, 1-0 there. And here comes the corner. Ah, no. Oh, ah, Wales again. It's starting to show a bit more presence up front. But Switzerland have got the ball back now. forward oh this is a chance for Switzerland low ball cross only to be blocked by Lado and it's gone in behind for a Switzerland corner that was a big block you just felt as though Switzerland could score from it but not that time So anyway, he comes to it from the corner it's from the far side. It's swung in. O'Sullivan couldn't get there. Rebounded shot is blocked. And another shot. And it's gone behind for another corner. <laughs> Scary moment for O'Sullivan. You know, when you commit and try and win the ball in the air, you've got to, you've got to get it. Colchester have equalized very quickly. Two minutes after they conceded, it's one all between Gillingham and Colchester United. 
another cross in. There'll be another corner. Incredibly nerve-wracking this for Wales to see them defend these set pieces. Exactly five minutes left of extra time. Here comes the corner. O'Sullivan again is headed off the line. <laughs> O'Sullivan really needs to thank her teammates if they come out of this. Goal kick. Wales can breathe again. Another great cross, but O'Sullivan, she doesn't commit in the air. And then one of the players for Switzerland lost her boot in the process. What a clearance that is on the line. Scary moment for Wales, but they're still in it. Remember, a place for the Women's World Cup is at stake here. Four minutes. Could this go to penalty shootout? You see, I made this background that you see in front of you now, the scoreboard and all that, but I haven't clearly, I've not thought about how to do one for penalty shootout, so my bad. So here come Wales with a free kick. Long one into the box again. They just can't keep getting beaten in the air, Wales. Oh dear, they've lost it. Now Switzerland trying to go for the counter. Instead, denied by Rowe on the halfway line. Cuts in and kicks the keeps the ball away from her opponent. Oh, and they've given away a throw in inside the Switzerland half. So Holland has come off for Ward. That's a Wales substitution. They've just <laughs> kicked theirs out as far out as they can, Wales. Coming into the last minute of extra time. Half-time in Scotland, Kelty Hart, one Queen of the South, nil. I think we're going to penalties. How's your bottle, Wales fans?
Now Switzerland. Oh, it's gone in. No, no chance. No, oh, no. Oh, that is really sad for Wales. Last kick of the game. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And Switzerland are going through, surely. Wales have conceded literally the, the last kick of the game in extra time. I didn't expect that, but you could see it. Oh, no. Oh, I feel for Wales. I really do. Oh, that is a real shame. Oh, it's such a shame. They nearly had them to penalties as well. That is absolute heartbreak for Wales. Again, let's see what VAR says, maybe. But <laughs> could they, they couldn't have three goals this loud, could they? Maybe we'll see. But let's watch the replay. It's a good goal, though. It is a good goal. Wales nearly had it. They nearly got it to penalties. Let's see it again. Starts from the left wing. Then the cross comes in. Yeah, it's fine. I think, if anything, it's an own goal, you know. Let's see it again. Roots the with the... Oh, it's a great flick goal. It wasn't an own goal. That's a great goal from Fabian Hum. And you can see straight away from Wales, they've just, in slow motion, they're all screaming in the air, thinking, no, why? So 2-1 Switzerland with literally seconds remaining. What a shame for Wales. They gave it a good go, but Switzerland caught them out at the end. We're into added time. I don't know how much added time we're going to get. It's already been nearly two minutes. Jack Attack says VAR, VAR. What a real shame, though. Oh, I do feel for Wales. You don't want to go out like that. That just crushes everything. Wales, have they got anything left? Oh, but instead it's a Switzerland throwing. They haven't said how much added time. It's been two and a half minutes now. In the first period, we had two minutes of added time. Well, I'll say this now for Wales. They've given it a really good go. Nearly had them as well. Oh, is it a free kick for Wales? That Switzerland coach is a weird-looking chap. I don't know anything about him. I might have to Google him afterwards. Chris L says they think it's all over. It isn't yet. The Swiss team are uh, still looking nerve nervous in the on the uh, in the dugout. That was full time. So they gave a free kick and straight away the referee blows the whistle for full time. So that's it. It's over. Switzerland do it at the death. Two goals to one in extra time. Oh, poor Wales. They nearly, nearly, oh, even the Wales coach, she, she's, uh, yeah, she, that, that'll be a hard one. Long trip home for them back from Switzerland. What a shame. So it's ended Switzerland 2, Wales 1 after extra time. Get your thoughts in on the live chat page. I'm gutted for them. Just the way it was won at the end. It's a great low ball cross. Nice flick in. It crept in past O'Sullivan. I don't want to be too critical on O'Sullivan, but I don't think a goalkeeper was at her best today. And I feel like she should try and save that. But what can you do? Exactly, Jack. I didn't get that either. Jack attack saying, why give a free kick and then blow the whistle? Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that. It was a bit odd. I think they should have let them take the free kick and then just see what happens. Well, as you'd imagine, the Wales players, they're in tears now. Oh, it's, 
it's 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 also the manner in, uh, in terms of you know it's it's it is um you know it's every four years this it's it's just not an opportunity that comes back every season so i do feel for wales but you got to be on high alert the whole time and they just weren't in that last moment of the game and switzerland i'll say it they were the better team today i think that when they went one nil down they turned it around they looked like the better team the moment it, they got the equalizer just before half time i think uh, backman deserves a lot of credit she was one of the best players for them today had to go off injured because of a cramp but they were able to carry on without her it's nice to see some of the swiss players go up to some of the welsh players while they're crying just to just try and cheer them up at least they haven't gone up to them and gone way we're going to australia you're not um yeah that that's uh ah i do I just, it's just it's just a horrible way to lose it really is it just reminds me of England women when they got to the semi-finals of the Women's World Cup in 2015 and it was I think it was 1-1 and it was in added time looked like it was going to go to extra time or was it yeah and, and and Japan had a ball come into the box Laura Bassett just completely misjudged it tried to head it out for a corner and instead she somehow got it past Karen Bodsley the goalkeeper hit the inside crossbar and in and it was it was a great own goal but it had you know oh absolute kick in the teeth and england nearly nearly got to the final real shame unbelievable folks uh, chris how says thanks for the commentary thank you chris appreciate that sorry it wasn't uh, to be for wales but before you lot do go do click that subscribe button give us a like and do follow us on social media you can see the facebook twitter and instagram handles just below the scoreboard there so do check them out and give us a follow on there as well as subscribing to our youtube channel uh, i'm not sure when our next stream will be to be honest with you um maybe a bit of content later this week we'll see but do of course keep visiting the channel to find out when the next stuff comes out but i think we might just wrap it up there um so huge commiserations to Wales. Uh, so close to making their first ever Women's World Cup. Tonight was the biggest match of their lives. And, you know, I, I know right now they'll look at it and think, oh, you know, just, just get me out of here, take me home. Um, but what I can say for, for, for Wales is that this is the furthest they've ever got. And if anything, they'll learn and hopefully progress from this. But maybe we can just hear from the... Wales manager. And that's, you know, it's been shown tonight, but what I do have to say is that I'm incredibly proud of this group. I'm proud that we compete at this level, and the plan for us is to continue doing that. This is a record-breaking campaign already. How much pride can you take from that? We take so much pride from it, but I know we are disappointed right now because we know we can win these games and be successful. It is by margins, and at the highest level it always will be. What message do you have for the fans who followed you for the duration of this campaign? We have to say thank you. We have to say keep following us because for them, they got us through games. They followed us everywhere. The crowd tonight have been fantastic and we thank them and we want them to keep supporting us. Gemma, thank you so much. I mean, strong words there from, from the manager. You know, she's clearly just trying to move on from in, looking at the positives despite going out just before the tournament even starts. But you know that's the only way you can look at it you gotta look at the positives and just see how can we do better in the next qualifying campaign so anyway as i said before big commiserations to wales congratulations to switzerland I, I we don't know yet but i think they have qualified um portugal iceland let's just quickly check the score of that i'd imagine that game is over unless it went to uh penalty shootout oh wow Portugal beat Iceland 4-1 in extra time. Um, Iceland did have 10 players because uh, they lost a player due to a red card. So Portugal have won, Switzerland have won, and now we just wait to see what happens between Scotland and Republic of Ireland. I'm just seeing. So apparently Ireland would pip Portugal to the World Cup finals place with a win. Scotland need victory by three goals. 
to avoid intercontinental playoff in February. So really, and apparently already, Caroline Weir has missed an early penalty after Ireland uh, made a handball in their own box. So uh, f 41 minutes gone there, and Scotland could have taken the lead early on, but instead it's still goalless. So it looks as though Switzerland are all through. It's just whether or not Portugal, Scotland, or Ireland take the second spot, and then we find out, of course, who gets that third spot, but that will be a playoff. So that will be in the Inter-Confederations uh, playoffs come uh, February when they take place in New Zealand. Anyway, we must come to an end. Thank you, as always, folks, for, for joining me and keeping me company throughout this latest watch-along on Let's Talk Sport. If you love your sport, you love your live watch-alongs, then you click subscribe to this channel, which is called Let's Talk Sport, your home of live watch-alongs and sports commentaries, uh, whether that's football, MotoGP, tennis, golf, snooker, you name it, we try and cover the lot. Uh, but for now, it's just sadly a night to forget in Zurich for Wales. They're heading home. Switzerland are heading to Australia. We'll see you very soon here on Let's Talk Sport. Good night.